Hi all, hope each and everyone is doing well and good and it is me Dr. Amrita here. So why am I here? Because in my YouTube, I received a, a message from Curly Doctor. So uh, in this, it was written like Curly Doctor. So she asked me, how was MD radiation oncology? And she said that she, she actually loves to pick up MD radiation oncology. Uh, but uh, so many of them are saying uh, so much negative about it like uh, so much of radiation exposure and it is not good for girls to choose and so many here and there so i told her and i reassured her yes definitely i will be coming with all genuine things about md radiation oncology so i hope that you're watching this uh, video so curly doctor so this is video exclusively for you before that, I want to say that whenever if you're planning to know about a branch, always try to ask to a practitioner who have completed that course and he's practicing for at least five years. That is very important. And what is the major mistake most of them are making is that they will go and ask to the PGs. The PGs may be then final year, they may be in so much stress and everything. So when you ask them, they will say, Yeah, like this, that, and all those things. And this same PG, if you ask after five or six years, they will be saying that, yeah, that's all happens. So look, the game, the entire and uh, change isn't it? so first she said that it is stress after six years she said yeah that is a little bit stress but you can manage in this way because after her practitionership she understood na, how to like accommodate how to adjust and everything so always important whichever branch you are going to inquire please inquire to a practitioner who have just uh, at least five years of experience because he only can uh, very well explain to you all those uh, job opportunities, challenges and everything. So that is a very, very important point. So we get, this is going to be a very short video. Just I want to say about it and wind up. So I asked him the questions and the queries she actually raised. Like, uh, is it good for girls? Whether there is any radiation exposure? How is the like work-life balance? We are all human beings. Yes, of course, we want to take care of our health as well as our physical and mental health now so i just asked everything to one of my close friend and i'm going to uh, dictate what that he said okay so this is my other phone i will i will read it for you so he said that it is a good branch as it allows you to end oncology you will have the option to do uh, this thing on go super specialty as well so if you pursue this md radiation oncology yes of course curly doctor if you're looking for a specialty you can definitely go ahead with dm oncology that is a superb thing na? yeah then then i asked him a personal doubt is there is physics and math so much i told na previously in my third year uh, like uh, my uh, like my dreams always keeps on changing like from one specialty from other specialty every year when I joined the MBBS onwards it's keep on every year new 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 things and finally I find it out uh, okay so uh, yeah I'm not deviating I just want to say uh, so I just met uh, in my third year uh, my like uh, in my mind like I want to become a radiation oncologist that time uh, in uh, like in Amrita Zyber knife and all those things uh, like uh, came uh, that newly came and everything becomes so popular new uh, new uh, like no era and all we were so much like is it cyber knife and all those things so at that time uh, my mind uh, yeah I also got like why can't I pick up radiation oncology so I just met uh, the HOD uh, that uh, was uh, Dr. Dayananda he was HOD at that time and uh, he, he was very very sweet and he asked the PG at that time uh, to uh, like uh, to show me all those things what they are doing and everything and so I gone like this and I like that but one thing he told that yeah physics and maths 
that you should be see i was very bad in that uh, i was okay okay not that good so i i i that day itself i have written i don't want uh, radiation oncology so that doubt still there in my mind so my dear curly doctor i asked to uh, my friend that uh, like uh, is there is physics and max so much and what he said that yes physics is there but uh, only basic physics okay only basic physics there is no any other problem just basic physics that's all that's only and no max for calculation and all that was he said just you need to know physics and that to basics only then then i asked your other query whether there is in radiation exposure and all those things so what that he said i will be going to read in fact you will have more radiation exposure if you do with ortho like ortho have x-ray and cr radiology there will be fluoroscopy and cardiology cath lab and all so these specialities do have more exposure but he says that it's not that much okay so nothing to worry and i asked him like you have told me you have just messaged me like uh, is it good for girls like that na? so i asked him what about girls so what did he said can we have a look yes okay yeah what he said that half of his batch mates were girls at that time and his junior batch also most of them were girls and there were only one boy so my dear curly doctor now please don't think like that whether is it good for girls if someone asked you just got this okay then then how is the work life that is what i asked him very very much because i am a person who always looking for work life balance because i really want like some mental peace and uh, like i want to do whatever i am enjoying so i am always uh, concentrated with all those work life balance thing so i asked it for you and what he said we can look he said post completion also it is still branch and the work 9 to 5 work so i would recommend this is what he said so of course my dear curly doctor you can definitely go ahead with md radiation oncology and the future scope is superb yeah super and if you're planning to work in abroad also you can make you feel targeting money yes of course you can make plenty of money and also like uh, if you ask me uh, i don't know what is a rank uh, just uh, i need to say that uh, if a general category or 32 37 uh, within 37 you can definitely get a uh, radiation oncology in all india quota as well as if you, i think most malayalis are watching my channel na? so if you love then you can go to alappuzha medical college nice climate and all those things so there are actually uru 23k if you are within that you can definitely get and if you've got like reservation uh, you are sc candidates in all india quota then also you you need uru 50 52k already gone so more chance and if you are st candidate yes you have a big lottery yes if your rank is around like 96k and all no issues here last year uh, previous year and all uru 95 96 definitely gone so if you're really interested yes my dear curly doctor please do uh, take radiation oncology grab your seat and enjoy your life and once you pick up please do guys message me that uh, you enjoy i need to see that message actually so yes this was a very uh, very very uh, short video of mine i just put it for uh, our curly doctor i uh, that name that curly doctor i like in youtube i don't know have personally just in youtube we get that message na so in that icon it was written like curly doctor so that that name was also very catching for me and yes this is uh, for me and also before winding up i want to say that uh, if you guys like in all india quota if you're planning to pick up uh, the medical college if you got a pretty good rank then what i really want to say that uh, here maharashtra delhi up uh, they have more uh, like stipend like 1 lakh range so uh, like around the less than 60 only uh, this course fee but in a single month itself you are getting 1 lakh something so that is going to be a big lottery na so there are so many like tata 
Tata Mumbai, so many superb hospitals are also there. So always it's better to uh, learn in hospital with so many number of bones. And I hope that this video definitely benefit you guys. And one more thing I want to say that I got uh, someone booked me for a radiation. Uh, I want to check the message again. I forgot. I think uh, radiation asked me about like DNB and all those things, I think. So what I want to say that if you feel like uh, you want to know more about a specific branch, their job scope, like how it is going to be like that. Please do uh, comment uh, in this video so that I can collect all those things. And I will try to put this kind of very, very short videos. I hope that this video definitely help curly doctor as well as those who are really interested in looking forward to pick and grab your seat. This is MD Radiation Oncology and this is me Dr. Amrita here. Thank you guys for listening my listening me and one more thing if you're new to my channel why can't you break that subscribe button yeah and uh, yeah subscribe me and support me and thank you so much when I see so many subscribers I feel like like that yes why can't I put uh, more videos like it is a, it is a true inspiration for me and thank you all for listening thank you all and love you and it is me Dr. Amrita thank you.